Hi everybody, this is the card for today and it is called Yin and um, I love the, these cards, they were given to me by Brenda Tarot Reading and it is number two so you could be partnering up um, in uh, romance or in uh, business two means to me partnering up, also balancing things um, and remember together you stand strong so I'm going to do the general meaning of this card and I'm going to do the romance uh, message as well. With this card there's four messages. There's the prosperity message, the protection message, but I'm just doing the relationship message and the oracle message and the essential keywords or meanings of the card. Now we all know that yin is the opposite to yang and the, the, this comes from the I Ching and it means masculine and feminine and we both have uh, it within our spiritual life or body. The essential meaning of this card is the feminine principle of receptivity, letting someone else make the first move gathering information and taking in cues the art of conscious allowing but that is not the only thing i think the yin also means nurturing passion love um, sensuality and sexuality as that is the feminine side this is what i feel that is feminine okay the opposite to the masculine being steadfast masculine boy-like being the provider for the family i know it's old-fashioned but that's how it was in the old days and that is what we call masculine also more more steadfast and certain of yourself and the decisions and choices you make for yourself and for the people around you being business-like career orientated all that type of um, points are masculine the feminine is soft and gentle the masculine is strong and sturdy now let's go to back to the book and this is um, this deck is by um, Colette Baron Reed and obviously everybody has a different interpretation of masculine feminine everybody's got their own idea of also reading the cards whether it's tarot or oracle so let's get going this is the general message this is a time of calculated receptivity as you gracefully await what is coming to you ready to accept it when it appears yin does not involve frozen dreams or even resting but rather consciously allowing things to flow to you poise to receive the bounty that will be made available to you. It implies sensitivity as you alertly study the actions of others, like a mother for instance, and com contemplate how they will affect you and yours. Remember, you must make space for miracles to appear. Be the shaped, not the shaper. And you'll see how quickly dreams manifest. Okay? So be the shaped and not the shaper. That is rather very nicely said. So be ready to receive, manifest what you want. That is being um, shaping it and then being the shaper, the vessel to receive. Okay. And then the divine or the cosmos will shape it and to you and for you so that it comes quick that it comes quickly so manifest it visualize it now the relationship message for today let others take the lead right now your power lies in small gestures soft awareness and conscious surrender by yielding the reins so giving letting go of the reins you will find yourself effortlessly moving closer to what you truly desire Permit others to tell you who you are and who you can be to you can be how they can be to you by allowing their actions to speak about them. You will be pleasantly surprised. So 
be open to receive and this is like a vessel it looks to me like a washing bowl or a bird bath so go with the flow be the vessel open to receive and be soft and gentle nurturing and caring like a mother let the feminine side come out take care have a lovely day